第2弾エンジンの燃焼は正常ここで今日は第2弾エンジンの燃焼が正常小笠原局がロケット追尾を終了しました。現在グアム局から追尾を行っています But the、uh, smoke there above the Tanagashima Space Center is still very evident, even though we're more than 13 minutes past the launch time. In less than one minute, that second stage engine, which has been firing since the six minute mark,、uh, will be shut down. And then, less, a minute af- less than a minute after that, that is when the HTV cargo craft itself. Will separate from the rocket and will begin its solo flight. The flight goes very smoothly. Stand in by for second stage shutdown. Second stage engine cut off. The shutdown of the second stage engine has been confirmed. ロケットは現在完成飛行を続けていますこのとおり。
種子島宇宙センター滝崎総合司令塔よりお伝えしましたありがとうございました The flight status of the Kona32 will be announced at the press conferences as well as through the press releases The live report of the H2B launch vehicle was from the Takesaki Range Control Center at the Tanegashima Space Center Thank you very much So once again a successful launch into orbit of the Japanese cargo craft HTV number two. This is the second time that this cargo craft has flown. The maiden flight was back in 2009, but a、uh, successful and by the book launch of this second HTV that is flying under the call sign of Konotori. That is the Japanese word for white stork. It lifted off from the Tanagashima Space Center at 11 37 p.m. Central Time. That was 2 37 p.m. on Saturday afternoon there locally. This begins a five day journey up to the International Space Station. The grapple of HTV will take place on Thursday, January the 27th at 5 44 a.m. Central Time. We will begin our live coverage here on NASA television at 5 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. We will then have a second broadcast on that day of the actual berthing itself as HTV gets mated to the Harmony node, the Earth facing portion of that module. That will begin at about 8 15 a.m. Central Time and will take place for about two hours or so. Of course, we will have live coverage of all that, including our live coverage during the ISS update hour, which will take place at its typical time of 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And all that will begin several days of activities. That exposed pallet. That is part of the unpressurized section of the HTV will be removed using the station's robotic arm on February the 1st. Brian Smith, the flight director here inside Mission Control, now officially on console. He and his team will be working for the next several hours. He just gave an update to Expedition 26 flight engineer Katie Coleman that HTV has、uh, reached a successful orbit. The visiting vehicle officer here inside Mission Control has also confirmed that、uh, HTV is sending down good data and telemetry during its solo flight. Katie Coleman and Paulo Nespoli are going to be the primary robotics officers coming up beginning on Thursday during all these grapple and berthing activities.